I don't know about you, but I learned by stories. Today, I wanna to share with you the parable of real estate success. One of the best ways that I've ever been taught how to learn was through the telling of stories. And what I wanna to do today is, is I don't wanna get spiritual on you, but I wanna share a story from the Bible that is really practical in my real estate business as I began to look at it a little bit closer. It's the story of the sower of the seeds. And what this is, is this is talking about someone that's farming. They're actually going out and they're planting seeds and they're looking for a harvest, same way we do in our real estate business. What they do when they're talking about this is the first thing they talk about is, is that the sower of seeds, first thing he had was is he had good seed. You got to make sure that you're sowing with good seed. What does that look like? For me, it looks like what would my clients want? They want information about the market. They want to know about sales in their neighborhood. They want to know about homes as they're coming on the market if they're buyers. So you got to make sure that you're sowing with good seed because when you sow with good seed, you will get a good harvest. But there's a little few steps that we have to go through to get to the actual good ones that happen. The first one that they talk about is, is they talk about that some of the seed when it was sown is falls by the wayside. Basically what happens is, is it falls on the road and birds come by and eat it up before it has a chance to take any roots. In our real estate business, what does this look like? Have you ever been with a client and you're at a point where you're like, wow, this is, I'm, I'm th throwing this out there. I see someone coming, then all of a sudden they call you and they say, oh, I'm sorry. I know I said I was gonna do business with you, but my cousin sells real estate and you see that they only do one transaction a year. They don't have any, any kind of experience or they can add any value to them, but they go with that person. Listen, this is just a part of the business. It happens to all of us. So you have to understand that sometimes when you sow seeds, the birds are gonna get it. They're gonna have family members. They're gonna have a friend. It's just not gonna work out. The second thing it talks about is that some of the seed when it's sown falls on stony ground and immediately it begins to spring up but then when the sun comes out, because it doesn't have deep roots, it just withers away in the sun. We've all had this also where we have these clients that come on and they're super excited and then all of a sudden they go super cold on us. Or they're super excited, but because we don't have the relationship, they drive by a house and they see a sign for a new listing and they call that listing agent and they go under contract with them. You see, when you don't have depth to the relationship, you're gonna lose some of these. It's just part of the business. And when it happens, you have to be at a place where you just say, hmm, Part of the business, I understand. That's part of this, now I'm gonna keep moving on. The next set says that it, some of the seed falls among thorns and it grows up and as it's growing up, the thorns grow up around it and choke it out. This is a tough one because this is the situation where maybe you've been sitting in a listing appointment and you know what the value is of this house. And you say, here's the value, here's the comparables. And they say, yeah, but my neighbor said that it should be worth this. And you're like, who is your neighbor? How could they know better than what these numbers are? But you see what happens is, is they get to a place where the thorns choke them out. So they decide not to list with you, but list with someone else that'll list it at the price they wanna list it at. A lot of times when these things happen, it's actually an opportunity for you to realize that this is just part of the business. Those were ones that you didn't deserve or you didn't need to get to make your business grow the way it should. Once you realize that it's part of the system, you'll continue sowing the seeds. And then in the story, in the parable, it says this. It says, but some seed fell on good ground and it had a hundredfold return, some 60 and some 30. Listen, the seed that you're supposed to plant that lands on good ground will have a big and a huge return for you. These are the places where it's good seed. You're sowing with good seed. It's good soil. You've done the part to move people down the, down the path of going from knowing you, liking you, and trusting you where you have a relationship with them. They have deep roots that grow. And when those deep roots grow, they don't only do transactions with you, they refer friends. They do multiple transactions with you. Their neighbors begin to list property with you. These are the people that we're looking for. But listen, you never get to that process until you understand and you walk through those difficult ones that can be frustrating. The problem that happens with most people is they get to one of these where maybe the birds get some of it or the thorns choke some out and they just say, this just doesn't work and they quit. They quit right before they get to the good ground and they plant the good seed. Listen, I hope this gives you a better idea of what's important in your business and how to grow your business in a positive way. If this is helpful, make sure that you let me know. Send me a message. Reach out to me if I can help you in any way in your business and I look forward to hearing from you soon.